proud to recognize Anna Kasuman, who will deliver our next commencement address, titled Looking, Forward, Looking to the Future. Annika, please join me at the podium. And while she's doing so, I'd like to ask Annika's parents to please stand and remain standing while I recognize Annika. Annika has completed over 747 service learning hours. She has been offered more than $2 million in scholarships. She is the founder and president of the ECG Coding Club, as well as the founder of the ECG YouTube channel, which now has over 12,000 views, and should, you should really go check it out if you haven't. Annika has a 4.73 grade point average and will attend Duke University next year as a Duke Trinity Scholar and Clark Scholar and will major in computer science and electrical and computer engineering with her minor in economics. Annika Suman. Good morning, teachers and faculty, families, and my fellow class of 2023. When I first wrote this speech, a TikTok trend had been going around. Maybe you have even seen it. It's where people talk about their life journeys and start with somewhere between then and now. Here's my take. Somewhere between then and now, somewhere between the innocence of childhood and the weight of adulthood, somewhere between our dreams and our reality, somewhere between who we were and who we are becoming. Our playdates became all-nighter bonding sessions over FaceTime, our nerdy hobbies became our chosen career paths. Our piggy banks became part-time jobs. One plus one turned into calculus. And Miss Webster became our therapist. Somewhere between then and now, we grew up. In these four short years, we've magically transformed from middle school kids to full-fledged adults. But what we may not have realized is that growing up isn't about the big changes rather the small ones we left behind. And once we walk outside this building today, there is no going back. We enter the world as its future. In this cohort in front of me, the group of once clueless kids I've grown up with, I see a future entrepreneur, congressperson, cybersecurity specialist, dentist, author, vet, you name it. I see a future where we are the change makers. Once in an interview, I asked Mr. Johnson which time period he wanted to live in if he could choose. He responded with one word at first, penicillin. As I blankly stared at him, confused, he expanded upon all the cool innovations of the past century and all the things we have yet to see, all the things we will go on to create. I often hear relatives at family gatherings talk of Gen Z as the key to solving some of our world's greatest problems problems like environmental degradation, social injustice, and poverty. And just from listening to the conversations in the trailers and in between classes, I can tell that they're right. The ECG class of 2023 is a source of change. Just as we left our legacies at ECG through our clubs, both new and old, numerous awards, and thousands of hours of community involvement, I have no doubt that this class will leave a profound legacy on our world at large. And you may be like, okay, Annika, it may be true that we now have the responsibility of humanity on our backs, but what do we make of it? Though some of you may have your next few years planned line by line, most of us don't even know what we're having for lunch today, let alone how we're going to navigate our world five, 10, maybe 20 years from now. How are we to find our way? For that, we'll need to find ourselves and our passions. We'll have to figure out the person we want to become. We've begun sowing the seeds of our passions with the support that ECG and its unmatchable faculty and students have provided us. But we have to give ourselves time to bloom. With each college lecture, internship, and summer excursion, we'll, be, we'll begin to find our mission. With each new friend, we'll be introduced to a topic we may have never heard of before. One conversation could change our destiny. Blooming won't be easy. We'll fail a thousand times, maybe more. But every failure will only make us stronger, bringing us closer to our purpose. 
we'll just have to close our eyes and believe in the child within us, the little five-year-old who would be ecstatic to see us come this far. As I stand here today on the cusp of a new chapter in my life, it feels a little ironic to be giving advice to you for the future when I'm in the exact same position. Excited, nervous, maybe a little confused. But a piece of advice that has always kept me going is one I've grown up hearing from my mother. Jaha cha, waha ra. Translated from Hindi, where there's a will, there's a way. My parents, in the depths of their immigrant journey, carved a path through uncharted territories, working tirelessly to gift me boundless opportunities to make me the person I am today. It is their spirit that reminds me that any hurdle, any challenge, cannot be bigger than our unrelenting willingness to reach our dreams. So let's go forth, fellow graduates, and make our dreams come true. The future belongs to us after all. It's just waiting for me and you. Thank you and congratulations class of 2023.